It's been years since this happened, but Samsung has finally defeated Qualcomm. What's up guys, we're back with some brand new Samsung news. In the last video, we looked at everything that is the Galaxy S21 series, official renders, and now the eyes are set on January 12th, but seems like the war has already been won by Exynos. Yesterday, Qualcomm has officially revealed the Antutu benchmark as well as the Geekbench 5 benchmark of Snapdragon 888 chip. In the Antutu benchmark, we have some massive, absolutely massive, massive gains, especially Especially in comparison to last year's Snapdragon 865 Plus chip. If we look at the Geekbench 5 scores, these are the real numbers as expected. A close to 4000 score but not quite there. It's stopping at 3800 score with the multi-core and just barely over 1100 with its single core performance. It's a good performance overall but this time Exynos is about to take the game to the next level. According to Ice Universe, the Exynos 2100 is expected to exceed 4000 in terms of multi core it's the only chip out there that has a real chance to level up with apple a14 chip on top of this we also have the exynos 1080 official benchmark scores and if you look at that we have nearly 3400 multi-core and almost thousand when it comes to single core score if exynos 1080 which is a mid-range chip without the super x1 core if this chip can score at this level then i have every reason to believe that exynos 2100 can at least get to 4000 level again ice universe Expected to even go beyond 4000 level he's very optimistic and not just him even Samsung is super optimistic with their trailers and they really are pushing this narrative that Exynos is back once again it's been a couple of years since Qualcomm has started dominating Exynos and now finally Exynos will be on top of food chain along with the performance people are also concerned with the heat thermal management if it can keep that performance in longer period of times then I see that as absolute win we've got some new information coming from South Korea, it seems like Samsung might be ditching the charger in its home market. It's 90% confirmed according to Twitter Leaksters. So we've already heard that Europe is losing the charger as well as headphones via Roland. It's very likely that a lot more markets will lose on this precious free thing that we used to have. Now, YouTube user Random Stuff 2 came out with another video on Galaxy S21 Plus. This is the unofficial review. And uh, if you look at the phone, of course, uh, I will correct myself it is indeed rocking a flat display compared to the edge display that was previously rumored the phone in his hand is a unreleased prototype model so the official model may differ in some areas but for the most part it will keep that same look so you compare some photos with the iphone 12 pro max and honestly this is just ridiculous because the software on this thing is not official samsung will be tuning a lot more things so i can't really see a point in a comparison at the moment but if you guys want to see that video you can check it out. I will leave that link in the description. Now, I almost forgot about this. Galaxy A72 5G. We have some exclusive first look renders via on leaks. The design is almost identical to the recently leaked Galaxy A52 5G. Uh, same quad camera setup on the back with LED flash. Boxy look with front camera in the middle. No information on camera specs or battery or even the processor. But the design does confirm that there's still a headphone jack on this bad boy. The back of the phone is once again gloss stick with a mirror finish. As for the price, the A71 will most likely come in the $500 range. So that's it for today. Guys, Exynos 2100 is going to be a big, big, big jump in leap compared to Exynos 990. Although I am excited about the performance numbers, there's still going to be a big, big emphasis on the thermal heat control. We still have yet to hear some official words regarding that. So as the great Piccolo himself said, it's not over until it's over. It's not over till it's over. With keeping that in mind, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.